Check, check, check one, two. Yes, this is episode or issue number 14. 14, issue 14. Wow. Welcome, everybody. I'm Hello, Brian Guinness. And I'm TJ Del Reno. For the last week, I'm getting a new co host next week. Oh, interesting. Well, yeah, I mean, news. it, you, yeah, you lasted 14 issues. That's news to me. We should have the people, all of the fans, chime in and see if they still want you on the show. Oh, that's frightening. <laughs> They're going to say no. <laughs> not feeling confident. <laughs> no, I'm feeling not confident at all. They're going to say no. <laughs> so we are here. We are the videoizers, and we're going to talk about issue number 14 of Nintendo Power. Oh, is that, is that Chip, 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 Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers? This is not based on the strip club, me and you frequent frequently. This is based no, on based Chip on and Dale's. Chip and Dale, two fellers that are chipmunks. Um, yeah, two. great game. What a great game that was, right? Is this 13? It's 14, technically. Oh, but what is it? Uh... Oh, yeah, 14. Good Lord. Just I yeah. want to get my archive up so I can see. Yeah, get the archive up. Get the wow. Archive up, bro. Look All right, at so... this. I used to love... Okay, let, let's... Okay. Number one, I just want to say, just so for the record, uh, I... Thank you, Ian. I was late. Just for the record, I had a huge crush on Gadget. Yeah, a little <laughs> weird. Like a, like a legit crush. Like if you met her, you, your, a palm, kid, your palms you, would be sweaty. Yeah, spaghetti. like if, if I found a stone and then someone's like, you know, with this stone, you mm. can turn into a mouse and enter a cartoon world at mm. the same age as Gadget. Mm -hmm. But we'd have to kill your family. I would. Mm -hmm. You'd do it. do it. And You'd the thing it. that Ian goes, he goes, I want a smoke show. Ian's like, I'm, uh, Gadget made me a furry. So it's like, you know, I'm not a furry at all whatsoever, but it's like, it's a weird thing as a kid. I loved Gadget. I mean, I wonder why I get, I don't, I mean, I just, this is... just, it would, she hit the show aired and she hit at a point where, <laughs> you know, I just, you know, you, I had crushes on girls. Like it was the perfect age of like having crushes on girls. I cool. didn't even have a crush on April O'Neil. I don't think. And I am obsessed with the term. I mean, maybe I did. I don't know. But well, she would be more normal because she's actually a human being. Yeah, she's human. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not. She... Ian says I'm a little bit of a furry because I'm into gadget. I'm yeah. not. Ian wants to catch me. Ian wants me to be a furry more than anything on earth because he constantly tries to catch me because he knows I'm not a fan. So yeah. with this cover, it's Nintendo Power, Chip and yeah. Dale's Whisker. And do you remember the boss? Was it Boss Cat or what was the fat, boss? I, I think it was Fat Cat actually. Fat Cat, you're right. So Fat back Cat, when you, back when you can call people fat. Yeah. Also, I just want you to know, Brian, that the window has no glass in it. Hold on. Hold because yeah. his hand is sticking through the window panes. Ian, fuck you. April is April awesome. is a skag, though. She's <laughs> delicious. She's the best. Yeah, he's kind of reaching right through. Like, he's reaching hey. right through. Yeah, right through the window. Yeah. I don't know and why they're in a light bulb. What I don't understand. I don't know. It's also like the like the, it looks like they're falling, but but, but Dale. Chip. Or Dale, Dale Red Nose yeah, is Dale. just kind of Dale looks like he's just floating in air. Yeah. So it's like they found they found the shutterstock footage of yep. Chip falling. And yep. then they're like, well, we don't have any of Dale falling. And it's like, well, why would you why would like this doesn't make sense too? Is this is either complete laziness, yeah, or someone at Disney was like, here are the two images of Chip and Dale for Nintendo Power. That's it. They said, Hey, get in get the uh Nintendo Power editor in chief a uh, couple of pictures of uh you know, Chippendale. I'm like, okay, what are you doing? Don't worry about it. Just get him a picture. Maybe, maybe throw a fat cat in there. That's fine. And the guy's like, sure, okay. And they did, and they get they sent this generic stuff. <laughs> like, make it and like with these are these are two different stances. One standing and one's falling. Figure it out. Put a light bulb behind them. Yeah, like I just if you're gonna the other thing is zoom out a little bit because the other thing is, well, there's no table. It's like I don't no. maybe put a table are, down. Where are they falling from? Are Why they are jumping? they falling? Why are they yeah. next to a giant light bulb? They're the in a makes, library. Doesn't make sense. No. Why don't you put them in an alley running from Fat Cat? Yeah. Like, put them in an alley. Instead, yeah. you're like, I guess we'll put them in Bob's study. <laughs> Bob, can you take a picture of your study? I mean, all right, but the window doesn't have any glass in it. And it's like, <laughs> why? I let, the, well, I let the neighborhood cats in all the time. I let the cats. <laughs> Used to have glass, but, you know, I got a little too many scotch on the rocks, and I threw it through the window. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know why they 
as always, you look at it right away like, oh, cool. But if you give it more than five seconds of thought, you're like, wait, this doesn't really make that much sense. It doesn't. Like, I never looked at it that much as a kid. And now I'm like, yeah. you know, as you see it now, you're just like, it's. The light bulb is just. The light bulb makes no sense. It's a bright I know you could, orange. Could you throw light bulbs in the game? Was it one of the things you pick up and throw? Maybe, but still, it's not like a remember. It's not a prevalent item in the game. No, Brian, I'm not privy to what those things are. I'm not privy to it. You got to get privy. I'd Fat like to be privy to it, but I'm not privy to it. Fat Cat was a cool boss. Look at this guy. He was fun. Yeah. You know, Cats cool. were such dicks in every cartoon show growing up. Oh, my up. God. And in real I life. The biggest dick. Yeah. And, well, I agree with you on that. And in real life, cats are real. <laughs> they really cats are. They're, are they're, holes. They're, they're known for being shit. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> the light bulb looks like a big orange Cheeto. So what else we got? We got the Golgo 13. Golgo, Golgo, Golgo. <laughs> Plus Golgo. previews. Mission Impossible, Castlevania, Castlevania 3. 3. Interesting. Bonus contest. Final Fantasy Golgo. Treasure Golgo. Quest Part 2. Remember you could win the suit of armor? They're still doing that. That was my favorite thing from the Final Fantasy episode. It would be funny if they just kind of like <laughs> dragged this out for like 17 issues like we don't want we don't want to get anybody maybe we'll look out there they should put whoever wins it they should put like oh, a, they will they they will we'll look at as soon as we get to that issue then we'll, like, i wonder we'll if, if they do have i looked it up but you can't find because it's too we'll weird find to it. i'll find it in the issue trust i me. mean if you yeah that's what I'm they, saying they, always, they always announce winners in this remember? that's what i mean like hopefully yeah. we're going to run across an issue with it because you yeah, can't yeah. search you just ugh, you just cannot <laughs> maybe it's, it was it was surfer surfer doogie hauser over here i hated the not like looking back i the only thing i liked about the 90s was like grunge music and like that's it i hated everything else the style the colors like stop buying one issue at a time at full price stop or barring your friends that's so funny tired of paying the cover price of 350 an issue well you don't have well, to anymore don't <laughs> buck 25 an issue is pretty darn good you know 30 bucks for a year is pretty awesome yeah, but remember inflation. Yeah, fifteen bucks yeah. for a year. That's 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 great. Yeah. Um, this guy's got some nice man. You look. Can I tell you something? Scroll over. This is the thing we always forget. It. Scroll over to the actual like I'm paying by. However, okay. This is what we forget. You wrote your credit card number on a piece of paper and just put it in the mailbox. Yep. <laughs> You put like did, did you mail this thing or you you I guess you put it in a no sometimes you just turn around there's a stamp on the like stamp a thing on for, it. yeah you put your credit card your phone number why your address. Were postal, why were postal post like postal service people going crazy when you could just like just steal credit cards you're right people didn't do that back then I, yeah well I mean people did but it's just like you you like I guess you weren't smart enough like come yeah. on man. I don't know that's really funny well you, you, you have to sign you have to sign the paper you couldn't do anything with someone's Look, we Washington State residents and eight point one percent. It's tax. right here, cardholder signature, like the the name. Oh God, it's the even need is here. That's really crazy. Then you learn how to for, remember when you went to the supermarket. It was a like, chunk, 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 chunk. You know what I mean? Yeah, you could put it in an envelope, I guess. Hey, what's going on here? What's up? You could, but I you think could. some of these were just like the postcard thing where you put the stamp on the back. Yes, and also you know what I for, I probably forgot. Oh, I mean, I could give my credit card number. It's it's, it's a five five a four. Just give it a yeah. four five b. Can you sign? Can you digi sign the screen so we can get? Well, your I think you know what. Realistically, I don't. I guess every time credit card transactions, they made the carbon copy of the card. So yeah. maybe if you had some, but then you could kind of go to a porn phone number. You could type in one of those one nine hundred porn numbers and just punch in a credit card and the name. And 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 then this guy answers. Yeah, hey, you know what? Uh, Do you know one time I called a porn phone number when I was like in a uh, seventh grade and on yeah. a telephone phone, and we punched in a fake credit card number and it went through amazing and the woman was like hey baby and me and my friends were so i was like hi well I, my voice was like this i was like hey how's it going <laughs> he's like how did? old are you and i was like oh, oh and then we hung up and ran you guys all all finished each <laughs> other yeah that i was rubbing i was rubbing my peen on the mcdonald's brick wall on <laughs> route 37 in tom's <laughs> river just rubbing my little peen oh man a lot of stuff here. Final Fantasy again. Rescue Ranger. Snake's Revenge. Snox Revenge. Galgo. Snake's Revenge is Metal Gear, huh? So Metal, Metal Gear, Gear too. Interesting. Metal Gear does. Yeah, we got the CES report, which are always fun. Game Boy, new games, Ninja Gaiden 2. Oh. Um, Castlevania. They are okay, just not stop. I guess Howard and Nesta really was a thing that 
Yeah. Really worked out because they are not stopping. Castlevania three poster in this one. You like that? We'll Ooh, make it Simon his... Belmont. Little eerie. topless boy. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> look at this eerie poster. <laughs> Let's see how eerie it is when we get up to it, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> one eight hundred get horn. Uh so they they got a chrysalis map on the other side of that poster. Chrysalis. All right. Um, all right, the usual. Let's, let's, let's... Corner. Yeah, it's, it seems like the usual suspect. Oh my god, look at we this. Got, we got some. I, I messaged you a half hour ago. You were very excited. So excited. We're gonna get to it. We're gonna get to it. We're gonna we're gonna ease into it. But there's something that's amazing that I found out. Oh, I'm, I'm very sure. excited. All right. Um my, so here... my excitedness is not limited. Go on. Yeah. So champions, this guy went to the uh Ben Clemmer. Oh, went God to sense. the uh, Nintendo World Championships. And his friend, look at his friend here. Look, uh, when the adrenaline starts pumping, you really get into it. I made it to the semifinals, and it was great. My friend, Gary Batman. What? In the, the final world? I picture some kid what? just wearing a Batman. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, my name is Batman. Gary Batman. My name's Gary Batman. <laughs> Gary Batman. Uh, he was one of the final. They played look Mario out, 3. Look out, Joker. Gary Batman, too. <laughs> Um, I did find a Ben Clemmer, by the it's... way. Um, and he was uh what, what oh he he's a host of WBOI 89.1 Fort Wayne, Texas, all things considered. It's so he's weird the... how many people that we find either they're dead of a horrid disease or mm. they're doing something relatively in their field or something like that. Yeah. Well, just wait five minutes. Oh, really? Uh, oh, I love waiting five minutes. It's gonna be amazing what I found. Uh, and, but I think I might be wrong, but it's still a great story anyway. Okay, uh, cool. We'll, we'll see. So this is, they're just like, hey, glad you had fun. Uh, this kid over here, this dapper young kid over here. Look at that turquoise button up. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, so he, uh, he they had to invent something in school, and he invented a little box here that rolls your Nintendo cord, the, the controller cords up. That's a big box for... It's like a... Board well, you, you can keep the NES in there. You can keep... It's, it's made of like... What does he call it? It's made of scraps, I think. <laughs> Tony Stark. Wait, what's this kid's name? Eric Rackley. Eric Rackley bit a Nintendo system out of scraps. <laughs> it's called the automatic basement out of scraps. The automatic control winder. Has oh, that, that, that's name pretty wordy. Look, and and they're like, hey, your idea looks good on paper or whatever your model is made of. What a yeah, dick, they're right? real. They're real sarcastic. A they're real shitty to the kids here. Yeah. Although there aren't any products quite like it. We hear, uh, we we thought of something similar. And I feel like they're stealing yeah, this kid's idea. They're talking about the uh, wireless NES satellite, of course. Oh, yeah. do you think so? Yeah. Oh, the NES satellite. Yeah. Whatever. So, um, that's that. Look at those gla he, he looks like, uh, I mean, that's like, uh, you know, uh, such a serial killer. He really does. He looks like uh, what's his name? Who's the guy? Uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. Looks like mm -hmm. Jeff, a young Jeffrey Dahmer from Valsado, Georgia, no. created a box that can hold a severed head frozen for up to three weeks. <laughs> when I'm done playing with my games, I eat them. Sometimes, have you ever sipped blood while you're beating Mario Three? <laughs> Poor kid. I Poor can't kid. My face is bigger than I could wear an adult's face over my face. <laughs> All right, this one uh, had a very weird uh, letter and response. Sanit sanitary? Oh, okay, go on. Fun in the sun. Both my children are Nintendo fans to spend hours indoors perfecting their games. As residents of Federal Way, Washington, we get 56 sunny days a year. Well, that's it, right? As a mom, I feel obligated to shoot them outside on those rare days when the sun shoot, shines. Shoot, listen, shoot, shoot. Thank goodness for Game Boy. Now I can prop them against the deck railing outdoors in the sun, and they never miss a beat. Are they dead? <laughs> Her children dead? Are they paraplegic? No. Uh, I, I, I don't. Here's what I do: I strap my, my strap Billy to the to one of the sticks of the deck, and then yeah. Billy. That's so he doesn't fall forward and smack and break his nose again. Now it's, Billy uh, can feel from the teeth down. <laughs> I don't know why you have to prop them up against the deck rail. That's what I'm saying. Maybe they can't walk or something. I don't know why you would prop your kids up. But then here comes Buzzkill. Although Game Boy is great for outdoor play, we do not recommend exposing the screen to direct sunlight for prolonged periods of time. The sun sounds great. Like, it's great for your kids, though. Turn them over every so often. 
<laughs> really ridiculous. You know, for a video game magazine, you think they'd be like, great idea or like, cool. Right. No, you know never. why they do this, never. Brian? No, you know why. Because then this idiot, when the Game Boy screen burns out from the sun, yeah. she's going to go like, why didn't there, was there a warning? And that's a lawsuit. Yeah. It's like Which the I, McDonald's coffee lawsuit. Yeah, pretty sure there was, a, there, there was a warning about it. So here's another, I feel like Nintendo is behind like Truman Show type disasters like SimCity also because how many letters have there been like, hey, my house was just destroyed by a flood or a hurricane, but well, my Nintendo still worked. This yep. is like the eighth one, right? Yep, yep. a flood, uh, the dad ran over the, co- uh, the mom <laughs> ran the Nintendo over. Right. Yeah. One guy got um, his penis caught in it. This is, this is the same thing, Hurricane Hugo, but he put his Nintendo on. And it worked great. What are we looking at? This is his house. And how happy he is that all his belongings are ruined except his Nintendo. Look at he's this guy. His, he's just living in his brother's house. Like, hey, I'll just let me stay here until I get back on my feet. I'll bring my Nintendo, huh? It'll be great, hey, man. look at my old TV. Yeah. PJ <laughs> <laughs> keeps bringing up my pro- the McDonald's lawsuit. Do I his house? Lawsuit? It's pretty impressive that Nintendo survived that, I guess. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, well, here's the thing you got to remember with Nintendo's, man. Most likely it was in an entertainment unit, like, you know, in between two shelves. Maybe, which could yeah. protect the Nintendo or destroy the Nintendo. Sure. This guy got remember those game. giant entertainment centers? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Remember you were you, you went to your rich friend's house and the TV could be closed in a cabinet? Right. <laughs> and every time you want to watch TV, you know, walk out and open the door. And yeah. It was like thing. Yes. Yes. Oh, my um, God. This too. There's this one. They're like, "Hey, we want to hear your worst Nintendo nightmare." Not like real stuff, like John up here. Oh, <laughs> but they well, want. Then, then what do you mean? You know, like, when the batteries failed in your Game Boy, when your kid's sister turned off the power and erased your game in Legend of Zelda. You know, girls are the worst, right? Make it funny. Listen to them. Why don't you make it funny and interesting? Why make don't you funny. do your goddamn jobs? Look at this fucking dog. We're gonna get to this in a second. <laughs> Look at that dog. But yeah. And this is just a regular. Uh, I like to play Nintendo. I'm my master. <laughs> More games about dogs, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a real Nintendo dog. Please don't steal that. That name is copyrighted. <laughs> so this is just a typical. Hey, we're old. We play with the grandkids. We, we love. We, uh, yeah. we love to see it. But however, TJ, Jonathan Sufreda. Uh, six years. Are six we? Years what was? Old. Is the dog in this? No, this a dog, they, they named their dog Pr- Princess Sleeping Zelda, which is super creepy. What is Sleep, Sleeping it's Princess so... Zelda. That that's her name. That's too long. Just it's call the dog too, Zelda. It's way too long. Yeah. Bob and it's Frank too... don't eat shit. I was about to get Ian goes get a high score in Super Mister Super Mister Mario when the batteries <laughs> of my wireless NES controller and a Koopa Troopa killed. He called it Super Mister Mario. <laughs> Super that's like I'm a serial killer. That's <laughs> oh, very funny. Speaking of serial killers, TJ. Oh, yes, I'm excited. Okay, so John Sufreda, uh, Judy Sufreda sent this in. John Sufreda, but hey, hey, I got so excited reading this. 1990. He's six years old, right? Yeah. Yep. He beat a lot of games. He's like a real. You know, Rain Man type six year old. It seems yeah. like just just beating all these hard games, no problem. Loves he's only reading. six and he can do it. He's very, yep. it's very exciting. Loves reading Nintendo Power at night. He reads at the kitchen table. He can't read every word, but he understands the ideas. His concentration is so intense, he can play Nintendo games for hours at one stretch. All right. Yes. So, Sorry, my dog is barking. Okay. So I looked up John Sufrey because why not? Why and not? And the first thing was uh, state of New Jersey versus oh, that's my home state, Brian versus John Sufreda. Well, a uh, John Sufreda, I realized it might not be him because this was 1992. This was father. I got so upset. Yes. Because this guy beat someone to death with a motorcycle helmet. Wait, if it's the same, there's no, <laughs> listen, the odds of John Sufreda, that weird last name in New Jersey, the I odds know. of it, not being him, allegedly. I know it has to be him, yeah, but it can't be because this was it was in March of ninety two. But how, does the age match up when you found John Sefreda? Well, no, because this is nineteen ninety when this when he was six. <laughs> oh, oh, you mean another John Sefreda in the nineties killed someone with a motorcycle? Helmet. Yes. I mean, listen. Have you ever seen the movie The One? <laughs> <laughs> is it about kids? Yeah, maybe that's like his future self is trying to kill all the ones in the multiverse so then he can become stronger. God, I well, I was hoping so badly this was it. Maybe it's Judy's wife. That, you know? Oh, wait, actually, it does say 
Hold on. He was in like an argument. Um, he was in an argument about Zelda. If <laughs> was Zelda. He was at an argument at a bar. Mike, he, he, uh, Michael Mugen said he was going to kick his ass. Uh, he said he left with, left with his wife. It doesn't say the wife's name. Damn. If it said Judy, I'd lose my mind. But he was arrested. For, yeah, one guy. One, oh, so he, you're thinking maybe John's dad is a maniac. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. I mean, the kid's got empty eyes, so he probably is. So the jury acquitted him of both aggravated manslaughter and reckless manslaughter, but convicted him of passion provocation manslaughter. Hey, th but the passion lines up again. Ten years in prison, four years on parole. Wow. Yeah. Good Lord. I don't know if it says, it doesn't really say if he has like, he's. Can you imagine he's, like having to explain that to your dead eyed <laughs> child that we're looking kid, at? You know, you know how you're really intense playing Dragon Warrior. You, know, <laughs> you know, when you play Super Mario 2 and you get angry when Mauser kills you, imagine taking that anger. And grabbing a motorcycle helmet because some guy at the bar said, "Hey, your wife has nice tits," and then you finish fishing with the helmet. Yeah, uh, there's, I, I posted the, uh, I posted the link if you guys want to, just the, oh yes, yeah, if you guys are curious about reading it yourself. But I was so like, oh my god, is this him? But I don't think it is because of the. It idiots. might be his dad, man. Especially if I know if it's both in New Jersey, dude. Yeah, gotta be something. right. As a fellow Italian person, that Italian last name's that weird. There's not a lot of Sofretas. And they're no. probably still in uh, what we like to call the old country. Is what if we it's like not him, he definitely knows this John Sofreda. It's yeah, definitely yeah, his uncle. Yeah. Or... So, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But pretty great, huh? That's great. Dude. What a great find. <laughs> great find. I love how everyone here is just, they're just a degenerate monster. <laughs> Every person we find is either dead of anus cancer or like in prison. Yeah. It's crazy. So anyway. <sighs> Uh, yeah, TJ needs better concentration, like that Sefreda fella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very funny. Uh, Final Fantasy, the first one from Corneria to Crystal oh, look, Lake. Matoya, look, Matoyo looks like Ian. Huh? Looks like Ian, the guy with the little glasses and the little. Where? Oh, there right? <laughs> yeah, Look at him. Ugh. Yeah, there it is. Yes, yeah, so, anyway. Big jowls, small mouth. Uh, cool again this would intrigue me as a kid i did but if i once i started playing the game i'd be pretty mad because isn't it funny how this is the final fantasy map this tiny i know it's game. they got so crazy and now it's like 75 pages long. i mean forget it yeah now it's like now it's you know you're trying to save the soul <laughs> being goes it doesn't look like me i'm mr handsome i mean well the final fantasy now like this is back when the story was probably like hey you're a prince you're going to it's just like the story was probably pretty basic and then now it's like you know well the 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 phantom people are coming from yeah. planet crystal ball and then when the crystal ball king comes down because the crystal ball king wants to marry the princess ice face <laughs> and it's like it's just the story is so convoluted yeah. garbage but it's just there, it's, it, when i played final fantasy i would just play the game do the battles every story i would skip because i'm like I, I none of your stuff makes sense Look at this six, six arm it's crystal. It's like shut up. It just was so bad. This is a badass. Oh, whoa, 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 Brian! Right whoa, nudity. Almost. Look at those bosoms. <laughs> TJ just sent Ian back six months with that. <laughs> uh, yeah, great, great boss right there. That's cool. Flame armor, the um, best boss. The best boss. There we go. But just you know, but good, good, good deep dive into Final Fantasy One if you're interested. What's so. the? Do you know? Does it have in this book the secret to get unlock the ultimate weapon? A motorcycle helmet. <laughs> <laughs> you get I slick. Back, you get slick back hair, a wife beater costume, and a motorcycle helmet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, crazy. Three, three, three times he. Oh, and then he hit him. He hit him with the motorcycle helmet, knocked him out, hit him again on the ground, and then kicked him in the ribs and killed him. Jesus, you imagine yeah. time kicking the Okay, what's this, Ian? Uh, in the Ian, uh, Brian, is this? The, do we have the winner, or is this just? No, the, the, it's still going. That's why I mean it. They, they, we find they just could drag this out. We don't think so, especially when it's so much fun to find. Wait, scroll. Let me see what this. Yeah. I want to read their thingy. Uh, in the last Final Fantasy treasure quest, we asked you to send. I love how they can't like this Photoshop. Like they don't have right. Photoshop. To send an answer to three questions, the time there are only two questions. This time's only two. Read the rules below how to how you can enter. You can wind up with 500 adventure packs, each stuffed with treasure. 
Authentic suits of armor as much stuff as a stuffed oh as much fun as a stuffed armadillo. What more stylish? Why would they say but, that? What do you mean, Brian? When you grew up, you didn't have stuffed armadillos, and they were you just could so receive fun. one of two authentic suits of armors as much fun as a stuffed armadillo, but more Brian, stylish. Um, are you insane. telling me that it's you insane. grew up not playing with taxidermied animals? Complete maniacs wrote this magazine. I like, know. Seriously, I just can you just answer the question? You didn't no, play with taxidermy as a kid. I didn't. I'm sorry. Oh. You had a bad childhood. <laughs> Winners so, are dude. randomly selected from the en entries correctly answering. Okay, so I guess they... Sept September 1st, this issue here is July, August 1990. And the next one I have right here is a strategy guide for Ninja Gaiden 2, which is issue 15. So issue 16, maybe they'll have the, maybe uh, they'll have the, the winner. winner. The winner, which is what the, our next episode. It's so funny that like now you can't do this because of the internet. They would just have this online you to answer. Yeah, you have to play the game. Oh, cool. I'm glad I could read the bottom things. Yeah, that's crazy. I can't yeah. wait to see who won. Uh, Howard and Nestor, oh. boring. He used to read these for anyone listening, but there's they just, got longer. Look at how much dialogue's in this one. It's just too much. Too much. It's just, I don't know. It's so dumb. Ooh, the CES show. Look at this. The first mention of you know the greatest arcade game in the world coming to Nintendo right here, just like that. Take a sneak peek. Yep. Turtles wow. 2. Dr. Mario. Hey, first time. Does, it, does it make you mad they call them the half shell heroes? No, it's fine. Whatever. It's, is are you mad that Cowabunga spelled with a K? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> completely wrong. That was did the 90s. Just, I guess they just didn't no one checked anything. They just did no. it. They're like, eh, what are you? They showed the editor saw that and someone like this. What are you gonna do, Bob? And he's like, hey, you know what? I don't know. They're like, hang loose, bro. Just just hang loose. <laughs> Yeah. Hey man, hang loose, bro. Hang loose. The, the guy, yeah, yeah. The Nintendo Power. Who's that? Who's the Who's the Herb with the tie? Oh, Howard. Howard whatever. Howard Phillips. Uh, I think Cowabunga spelt with a K. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wait, they're making a sequel to just, Ninja Turtles, just like the clan I'm a part of. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh oh. Ooh, Mega Man Three. In this yeah. sequel, do they know what a sequel is? <laughs> oh, fan goes Mario's a doctor now. Wait, why would they call it a sequel? It's I guess uh, Mega Man Nine's a sequel. I guess you know, so they just keep going. It's just, that's not how it works. Yeah, it's just the second one's a sequel. You you are seeing it for the Doctor's Project. They don't even mention Rush, which is which Rush was a huge thing. Well, this is still early. This is just a preview at CES. Probably the game probably didn't come out for the six to twelve yeah. months. I'm guessing. I mean, you're probably right. Uh, Miracle Keyboard. Fun story. I had this. Um, I went to get the Nintendo one. They accidentally gave me the Super Nintendo one, which is pretty oh no. Cool. Yeah, so no, it was, I had the Super Nintendo at the time, so it was pretty cool that I got uh, the upgraded one for free by accident. Oh, snap, crackle, piss up. I love the, I, I used to play this thing all the time. Yeah. What Miracle the, game. what is Power Mission? I think it's actually Power Blade. Mega right. Action, the tradition of Mega Man 2? Yeah, it looks exactly like Mega Man. Oh, it looks it just like, that's the same frog. I know, right? What is it, What what's it called? I might, it might be Power Blade, but I don't know, unless it's actually Power Mission, I don't, but. And they just completely re redid it when it was Power Blade. Um, D DJ Vu? Power Mission Combat Overshadowed. Yeah. No, I think you're right, Brian. I think it's Power Blade. There is oh, a game, wow. Power Blade. No, no, there is. DJ, what are you telling? What are you telling on? He said he's telling on something. What do they do? What did I say? Hey, what are you doing? What was that? Uh, sometimes I like to listen to clapping songs. <laughs> yeah, Power Blade is a game. Yeah, Power Blade does look sort of like it. Right. But maybe maybe really. it was like early and I don't know. Um, the guy looks like Duke Nukem in the game. Yeah, he does. So we got Nintendo. Look, the first Simpsons game. I don't so know, bro. Hard. I think Power Mission. I think maybe Power Mission was a game. Maybe it was separate, yeah. The Simpsons are coming to the NES. That don't have a cow, man. Oh, I learned that's how I learned to play Ode to Joy by Beethoven, PJ. I still know how to play it. Oh. I used to yeah, I learned how to play stuff from the Miracle Piano Keyboard Teaching System. Some hot titles in the works. So Simpsons loved it, but I hated it too because it was so hard. This game was so hard. So uh, annoying. Hard. So me as a child, as a 10 year old Beetle guys reading this. No. You got the Nin Turtles 2 on the left. You got the Game Boy Turtle right here. I was losing my mind as a kid in a good way. Yeah. You know? Oh, and the, you had Game uh, Boy. I still love Turtles, you know? And the new thing I just announced, 16 tur 13 Turtle games coming out. Oh, man. Can't wait. Um, This, look at this. Look at this. 
Laser scuff. Can I tell you, dude, none of this worked. Nothing. None of it worked because even now, do you know if I do voice to text and you know because I talk to you every day? Yeah. It doesn't, the iPhone 13 Pro voice to text doesn't function correctly. You mumble too much. On earth, (laughs) with a voice headset, besides, it probably, you know what it probably does? It probably measures the, the pitch. So it's like jump jump you know duck it's probably it's probably like it 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 can respond to up to five commands that's what i'm saying jump duck (laughs) forward do you imagine playing this game like this forward 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 jump forward forward jump forward 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 jump forward we have to get we have to get you on twitch doing this we we gotta find one we we have to find one of these and just play it you're eating deer you're trying to eat a sandwich real quick and a bite and your your like friend unplug undoes it and then your guy just jumps in a hole because you're crunching lettuce (laughs) You look like the thing from, from Star Trek, that guy. It looks so... The Borg, you mean? Yeah, I don't know. I think you but mean the it, Borg. It's wild. What a weird fucking thing. I think... Are you talking about the Borg? I don't know who the Borg is. Sorry. Bro, you're talking about the the Borg. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Assimilate. <laughs> but look at this. I would love to have seen this if this even worked. There's no way it worked, but... There's no... Dude, I'm telling... They couldn't do the Wii. Couldn't work that well. Are you <laughs> Laser crazy? scope voice command stereo headset. Please. Mommy, can I please get... This? Can you please give me the laser scope voice command stereo headset for Christmas? You can't answer any questions. It's like when you call those, it's like when you call uh, someone and it does the voice activated prompts mm-hmm. and then by accident you sneeze and it's like, you know, disconnect and call. And you're like, God damn it. You know, <laughs> when you call up, there's always someone in your house that starts talking to you yeah. when you're waiting for like, you know, representative. And it's like, great. What do you want to speak about? And your friend comes in like, hey, do you want this salad? And you're like, shut up. And then you it's don't like, have salad here. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, the salad. No salad. Goodbye. Oh, oh, TJ. Uh oh. Oh, don't show my girl. Uh oh. That did it for you, huh? It just, it was still. I just, I, I had crushes on girls, and that was the thing. Yeah. I guess you know, she's, she's cute for a mouse or a rat. What is she? She's Chitmunk? a mouse. I never call her a rat. She's a mouse. <laughs> you dirty rat. Yeah, she's a mouse. I don't know. Yeah, I, there was just, there was something about it. Just was, it was, it, my hormones were going. I had crushes on girls and it was, that's where it started. But again, <laughs> it never went any further than this. I did not become a furry or get into any. I don't like cartoon pornography. I don't like cartoon nudity. I don't like anything like that. I don't like none of it. Does she have mouse toe? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, maybe I'm getting into it a little bit. <laughs> I'm not a friend. Ian keeps thinking I'm a furry, and it's like I'm <laughs> the furthest from. <laughs> oh man! So great game. We all love this game so much. Still like it today. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, it's got fours across the board. Remember Monterey Jack? The Monterey. Mass, loved cheese so much, and he would do it like he he would he would look like he was doing bath salts when you found cheese. Yes. <laughs> he just run run across the board like uh, he would just cheese. float. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people are really encouraging you to. I know Ian's really like just get it. Well, Ian was sending me some uh, gadget nudes, which was disturbing. oh my god, is that real? This Jesus. all real? What's it called, Ian? Ian? No, no, called? no, 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 no. What's the thing? It's like it's like uh, Rule sixty six oh, or something. Yeah, Calvi, so it's, uh, it's like Rule thirty seven or something. Yeah, Rule thirty seven. If 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 it exists, know. there's porn about it. Right, right. So this yeah. show, we are uh, video wisers. Rule thirty four. Well, I was close. Yeah, Rule um, thirty four. Yeah, great game. Here's more clip art from from the Chippendale gang. Right, so this just shows the map. It shows how to play the game, and there is old Fat Cat just waiting. Fat Cat, Fat Cat's casino. Oh, what just, would kids, they call? Kids. So they're redoing Rescue Rangers. Are they going to call him Fat Cat, or will he be like Large Big Boy? You know, like, like are they going to be nicer about it? Oh, you think it's no? Because I think they could do Fat Cat because he's he's fat. He's a cat. Yeah, but they won't do that. They'll. I, I don't know. Uh, Maybe they'll call him like Lion Lion. Like he lies a lot. He's a lion. Yeah. Uh, some or they'll call him like Casino Cat or something. Yeah, I, I can see Maybe him not. trying to be all all nice, not to. Here's offense. some techniques to remember. Take it slow. I, I I didn't like this game. I played it before. I'm not a big fan. It's great. Yeah. I, know it's, your enemies, man. If there was one thing, they just copy and pasted every every issue. Yo, it's crabs know, were know such your dicks in every game. Crabs, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Even like crabs you get from because you can, sweet love to a mouse because you couldn't jump on them ever. They yeah, couldn't. Uh, uh, Closer, grab your butt. You can't. They'll pinch your buttocks. Always says know your enemies. Every fucking review. Know thy enemies. Hey, Brian, do you know what? 
if I was, you know what I would love to do? If I was a mouse, look at Gadget. Look how cute she is. I would take her on a date to like a little mouse bar and we get uh-huh. a couple of drinks. And if sure. some piece of shit even said something to her, I will take my motorcycle helmet and I'll beat the shit out of him. You have to then kick, kick him in the ribs just to make sure he's done. I will take my makeshift uh, needle and thread thimble helmet and beat the <laughs> shit out of him. So this is the same chip right here or Dale on the cover. That's what they should have done. Well, there's one that chip looks like he just took a huge dump in a couple pages back. And it's like, He's sitting with, and he's like, oh, tired from all the jumping. It's like, you could have made that, you could have made that him falling. First of all, it doesn't make sense because you don't get tired in the game either. No, you never do. This makes you think as a kid, you're like, great, you get tired? Right, oh, I have stamina bar in Rescue Rangers? What is this? Uh, Breath, of the, Breath of the Wild? What is this? All right, we got Metal Gear 2. Probably terrible. I would have no, no idea. These games Let me tell good. you about, yes, because I was going to say, I, I've, I tried playing Metal Gear I just, I didn't get into it. I don't, you know, the, the, I think these games would have gotten, I don't think there was any Super Nintendo Metal Gears. No. I don't think so. Cause I, I feel like this game kind of like this was it. You know what I mean? There might be. Someone's going to comment later like in three months. Well, like I feel like Metal Gear is like it only because of PlayStation 3, yeah. I think it came back. Yeah. And I never got into it. No, me neither. All right, we, we can skip this. Know the enemy, though. Can Just I tell me. you the truth, bro? Yeah. There's a tons of Metal Gear. Porn? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, solid so Snake Metal Gear indeed. 2 was solid. So it went Metal Gear, Snake's yeah. Revenge. Snake! Uh, yeah, Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake was the next one. That was for 1990, which came out like later that year. Here's, here's where Metal Gear blew up. You ready? Ready. Eight years later, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, PS3. so when that, when that hit, yeah, there was three Nintendo games, and then when Solid hit, bro, that was when that was when the series was a game changer. That's when everyone was like, "This rules." Wait, what system was that? Uh, it was three Nintendos and then PlayStation. Okay, PlayStation right One, on. so right, PS right. One. So then, and that that right. kind of that game, I think, really made PlayStation because, like, you know, but a couple of things did back then, yeah. I mean, a couple of things did, but I think that that was a huge game was Metal yeah. Gear. People were like, yeah. whoa. All hands on dick. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we got some codes. We love the codes. Night Rider. Night Rider is such a generic racing game. There's nothing Night Rider ish about it. Uh, Night Rider. Yeah. Was it? Ian goes, Metal Gear was originally released for MSX home computer. Wow, really? I could see that. Oh, I'd have to look that up when the show's over. You could play the MSX on your handheld if you really wanted to, TJ. Yeah, but that's the NES version. Beret fight. I no, like you can the... play. You can play every game on your handheld, even the no, MSX the one. I bought the handheld. You act like I didn't buy it. You and don't you, play you it. Talk, you get mad like you have stock in it. You're like, will you just play it? And it's like, play the, you need to play some Game Boy games, like for reals. Oh, they're so poops. No, they're great. So uh, really good. Uh, Anyway, Astro Max, Zenith, the Moffat conspiracy. I, I'm shocked how much they really pushed this game too, because it was such a weird, dark I mean, it's game. Just, like, I don't get it. Know? The Duke of uh, the Duke of Secret Agents. His name's, Gal- du- Gal- Gal- his name's Duke Togo. That's his name. But like, what? If, like, oh my God, who's here? Let me, all right, ready? Hear me out. Okay. So, you're a villain. This yep. is what you hear. I run in. I'm a henchman, and I'm like, "Hey, boss, 007's coming to kill you." You'd be like, "Oh no." Ready? What about this? I run in the room and go, hey, boss, Golgo 13 is coming. You go, huh? What is that? Some kind of cereal? And it's like, no, no, no. Golgo 13. Why 13? What? I don't know. He's the Duke of Secret Agents, and he's coming. Yeah. It, looks like, it looks like a maze or a crossword puzzle over here. He just it's looks mad. like an American got merged with a Japanese guy in the in the machine that created the fly. Maybe. Like he's got like a weird like his head looks like he took a black marker and drew his hair in. Look look at this act three in Venice, scene one, three, four, and six. Down here is scene two and five. Afghanistan and beyond, act five, scene three and four. Look at this yeah, what is confusing. it? I guess it skips around. Looks confusing. It was a diff- it was different. It was a multi-genre game, by the way. First person driving horizontal vertical. It was a whole bunch of stuff. Which is yeah, they, cool, did that, but... they did that in Bayonetta. They did that as one of the like I love Bayonetta, and they did yeah. that where they like would change it up and it, it it was fine, but I'm not a fan of, I I don't like when games like cross genre it. I, I don't like it. If you're a shooter, stay a shooter. If they do it right, it's fine. 
Solstice. It's just that, but it's it's not done right all the time. It's it's jarring or weird sometimes. The quest for the Dark. staff of Demnos. A daring trial of wits and skill begins. Again, it really just gives you no information about the game. I thought this is like this is like a isometric um mm. thing. So yeah, this, looks, this looks so boring as a kid to me. Like locks are Shadax's salvation. Yeah, no thanks. Shadax. No thanks. Oh, my ex-boyfriend Shadax is on the phone. Don't Solstice, answer this Crystalis. What's with these games? Is, is, is there's a lot of RPGs, man. I'm noticing like it's kind of like yeah. turn. You know, I guess Final Fantasy blew up, and then after that, well, not like, yet, not a, not yet, really? yet. Like yeah, it was. It's still in this magazine. Like it's it was out, but Sorry. Zelda probably did. Zelda did. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, it was all Zelda. Look at all these items: medical herb, antidote. <laughs> herb Fruit. brian herb In an insect flute gas oh. mask leather boots mask? boots shield ring alarm flute lamp of fog could just be called lamp oh look brian key of the band sticks <laughs> do you see it <laughs> yes key of sticks for the band sticks <laughs> you gotta wear your glasses astigmatism yeah, no, they have magic just... in the world but astigmatism still exists oh my god it's fucking... jesus h christmas <laughs> so many things glowing lump Statue of gold, Carissa plant. Oh my god, bow of the sun, bow of the moon. Yeah, flame bracelet, storm bracelet, lightning bracelet, carapatch. Oh, I hated seeing that. I, I remember there's a lot of games that has a the carapatch shield, which is always like a, a turtle shell or something. Oh, this is just like a, like a step by step. This is not bad. This is great, actually. Well, you meet the elder of the leaf, and then you buy an alarm flute, then you bash him in the skull with your helmet of destruction. Uh, don't answer the phone. My boy, my ex-boyfriend Zebo is calling. <laughs> don't answer See, this. It. Okay, I would play this game right now, just following this step by step. Yeah, this is nice. I like that. Ah, uh, uh, he's my ex is calling. He beat a guy with a carapace shield at a bar at a tavern. He needs he needs bail money. He needs help. He beat a man. He beat a man half to death at a tavern with a carapace shield. <laughs> PJ and Ian going nuts in the chat. Love I know. It. They're just going Love back it. and forth. Love it. Carapace. 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 <laughs> TJ, you are a bozo. He's going to jail. I'm going to call, I'm going to call the slander police. The village of this Solitaire. is slander, Brian. Remember when Look I... Oh, here's a poster. Accident? Here's a poster. Look at that Castle... beautiful oil back. Yeah. Castlevania. Dracula's curse. Brian, I'm going to be honest. That's really eerie. Be honest. It is. Double Dragon. There's more Game Boy stuff. We had Double Dragon. I had Double Dragon. I had Double Dragon. Taking the swing. Watch Game out for Boy. a Bobo. Yeah, you have to. Uh, here we have Fortress of Fear, Wizards and Warriors X. Fortress of Fear, bats in the belfry. <laughs> All right, I had I had uh, Spiderman. Did you? Yeah. Was it amazing? It's, it wasn't that good. It was all right. I mean, you can tell this is what he's like. He was like pitch black. That's him right there swinging. <laughs> oh my god, LGN Toys Limited. Yeah, Jesus, LGN. he's just pitch black. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Oh god, There's, he's fighting Mysterio there. I think. No, we, I don't know. How do we know? It looks like someone dropped. It looks like a Rorschach test. <laughs> Ew. Wheel of Fortune. Dexterity. What does the Dexterity kid looks like? Chucky from Child's Play. He kind of does. Yeah, go back. Ew. What? Ew. Ew. He, he, oh, go, like, go left and up. He's going to bash this thing in the skull with his game. Uh, what is that? What's the detective thing? Penguin Wars? No, no. Yeah, I think so. It's on the... I'm trying to find it. Too. Lock and Chase? Lock and Chase. Oh, maybe it's Lock and Chase. Get into Lock and... Ugh. It's like Detective Pac-Man. Ew. This is a little puzzle game. Whatever. A little Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortuna. Bib Fortuna. Bib Fortuna. And look again, dude, like, like, this, this this was probably the, the, my favorite issue ever. Because it showed this insanely amazing cutscene right here from the Turtles Game Boy game. Look how great what? those graphics are. They're very good. What can I ask you just on a side note fast? What is the I guess you love tra you love the turtles like I love Transformers, but like mm -hmm. what is the thing? Like you just love it so much. Why Transformers? I love, but because as a boy, I love robots and I love cars, and it was the merging of the two. Versus, like, you were a boy, not a teenager. Well, I was, I was, yes, ninjas are cool. I'll give you that. 
They were just, I mean, it wasn't, they were, they're still a huge thing. Did you, you pretend know? you like, and your brother were turtles when you were kids? No, when they didn't really, age? they weren't, they weren't into them. Just me. How many brothers do you have? Two? Yeah. Are you the youngest? Yes. Oh, you're the baby. Yeah. Like you, they're a bunch of fuck. They're a bunch of fucking babies though. Uh, <laughs> Let's do a podcast call. Our bad brothers. <laughs> Our bad brothers. <laughs> Just tell stories. Yeah. Um, Paperboy. But yeah, this love this graphics. Paperboy so. is so hard for no reason. Yeah. It is. Monumentally hard. So I can't even imagine playing on a Game Boy when it doesn't work. Might be a little easier. They see that's Ooh. the thing. You got you gotta stop dissing the Game Boy. You don't wow, yeah, they could just never had it. Yeah, so you, it, it was this... great. What is, is this uh, Glenn or is this someone else? Trevor uh, or is it Trevor? Which one? Who is it? I think this is Trevor. This is Trevor and Trevor Grant Belmont. Grant Ooh, the Nasty. Is that his I'm name? Be, can I be honest about Trevor Belmont? What a yeah. dish. What a dish. What a dish. Alucard. This is the original where Alucard was in it. Yeah. Before uh, Symphony of the Night. Yep. Rebellious son. You no, know, Alucard Dracula. is Wolfman backwards. <laughs> <laughs> He's the rebellious son. Can you imagine name? I'm gonna name my kid JT. I have to. I have to go to the doctor. I have Sifa Bellmaids. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you catch it? Oh, I went to Burning Man, and I kind of <laughs> had sex with them when I saw. Uh, yeah. Dracula did this one rule. Oh, Paper Boy. Uh, yeah. real life. <laughs> Paper Boy is the only game where doing it in real life is easier than the game. He's a hunter. That is a very funny take. Yeah. Ian the Castlevania Three was good. It was hard. I'm tweet that because that's very funny. Tweet it. Tweet it. Uh, well, Ian, and, Ian and, and, and give us and give us credit. Uh, give Ian. us credit. Link Go link on, to our a, link to my Twitch, please. I made a jo- I made up a joke. Uh, oh, Manic, Manic Mansion, such an amazingly fun, silly, awesome look game. So look at those like tropes: the surfer, the goth awesome. chick. Hey, have you ever played through this? Or no, kind of, or oh, the, 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 the surfer wait. punk nerd jock? I guess. Yeah. Uh, by the way, do you see the shirt he's wearing? Lucasfilm. That's right, Lucasfilm Games. They made this. Wait, you never played this or Day of the Tentacle? No, I, I know. I I love. I know. I love point and click adventures. I just never, I never played these. I played Monkey Island was my first one. Monkey Island is fucking perfect. Monkey it's Island, really, well, it's it, Monkey perfect. Island's a perfect. Monkey Island is very funny, but it's extremely. There's moments that it's like too hard. No, I, I use a guide and I love every second of it. I play my PS3. No, can you please, honest, I'm dead serious. You should go download the remastered Data Tentacle one and play it. Oh, where you, is it? On the handheld or on? No, get on get on PlayStation. Um, oh, cool! It's so good. It's so funny. Oh, I'll, do, I'll it, do it. It's, it's the same humor as Monkey Island. Like, it's so... It. Monkey Island might be a little funnier, but... Yeah. Man, Man, Maniac Mansion is super funny. I mean, it's the same guys. Day of the Tentacle, Maniac Mansion, Sid, Dave, Bernard, Jeff. Yeah. Wait, is a girl not in it? Yeah, she's in there. Oh, she, Wendy. Oh, that's her Sa- name? Sandy Razor. Michael Wendy Razor. Uh, Brian, hold on. I gotta go. My ex-girlfriend Razor's on the phone. <laughs> yeah, that's a girl. That's that's new. My ex-girlfriend Razor is on the phone. <laughs> Very fun game. Her name's Razor. She looks like the chick from uh, uh you don't watch horror movies, you suck. Sorry. Return of the Living Dead. Mission Impossible. Here's Art. the here's the team of Mission Impossible. Look at this team. Jim Phelps controls it. Max what, Hart. What, what kid was like, this seems great. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, me and my dad sit down and we watch Mission Impossible. Like, come on. It's coming to actually a game. They had to do it. Everything Are got they a license. Hot there. dogs down there. Everything. What? Go back. Are they on the bottom left? Are they running on hot dogs? Like, look at yes. this. <laughs> hot dog. Here we go. Top and thirty. You know, in that in that stupid, terrible movie, it's a wonderful life. When he yells, "Hot dog!" You know, I've never seen that. Hot dog. It's the worst movie. It's the worst movie. Yeah, the it's... worst. And and me and Caroline got me and my girlfriend got a huge fight. And everyone else that loves that movie. And I'm like, it, it's not a good movie. And I was like, it's an amazing movie. And I'm like, no, it's bad. <laughs> bad movie. It's dumb. Look at this. We got Mario 1. I uh, want Mario 2 and 3 in the top 30. Is Mario 1 still here? Uh, it is not. Wow. Well, 3 was three's the shizzy. This, might stay, this might stay here for a long time, folks. Yeah. I mean, it will. We'd love to see it, folks. We'd love to see it. Um, Mega Man Deuce. Oh, we're getting close. We're getting Player close. Picks. Oh, we're getting close to our favorite. Oh, snap. Counselor's Corner. Everybody, everybody get your popcorn. 
I'm gonna get your popcorn. It's me and Brian's favorite part. Counselor's Corner. Counselor's Corner. Uh, we, uh, Ian also gets mad when I hate a one. It's a wonderful life. And who gets fuck, mad? Fuck oh, me. here we go. Fuck Guys, me. get ready for our favorite segment, Nintendo Power. The Videoizers presents Counselor's Corner. Boom. Look at oh, Jesus oh. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I think Willow is one of the counselors. Let's start with him. Here's oh, Willow. Oh, it's Warwick Davis's brother. Yeah. Dane. His name is Dane. Dude, look at this 75 year old. He's got a balding mullet. <laughs> balding mullet. Just cut your. It gets to a point where it's like, yo, just shave your head, bro. He he has Everyone, a sen- he has he still has a sensitive scalp. Look at the gap in his teeth. He could fit two quarters in there. I, I don't go to the barber because I sensitive scout, my mom said. Oh, my God. He looks like he n- lives on Nilbog Avenue. <laughs> he looks like the fucking you know what leprechaun. That is? Do you get that reference, Brian? From the leprechaun? No, nah, from Troll 2. Sorry. Okay, same thing, basically, though. He yeah, looks like the leprechaun, movie. doesn't he? He does. He looks like Warwick Davis, 100%. Yeah, I know. Oh, my hobbies are computers, electronics, sports, video games, and aircraft. My hobbies include tickling children's feet when they're sleeping. Wait, aircraft? Oh, aircraft. You never played aircraft? Hold on, wait, uh, real quick. Ian, uh, Shaharazad, by the way. Thank you. Shaharazad. That's how you say it. Shaharazad. Um, this is both Dane... Dane Center one day in one day because you had nothing better to do. Dane. Dame Emerson. Emerson. This guy rules. Oh my god. My hobby is also aircraft. I like aircraft. <laughs> I like aircraft and I like to steal babies and have women guess my real name. I like aircraft, but I scream on cross-country flights the whole time. <laughs> I have a <laughs> I have I have flight terrors. What's that? Well, that's that's when I get on an airplane, I have to scream out loud the whole time. <laughs> Flight terror. I'm so bad to sit next to. I'm very bad to sit next to. That's a to. cool name for something. Flight terror. Flight oh, terrors. Yeah, PJ said it looks like he wears two wears two pairs of underwear at once. Just in case I get skid marks, I could rip off the bottom pair. I have a very strong flow. I he looks like the kind of guy that would just that would say unironically, I have to go get a fresh shirt. And you're like, ugh. Just because he's just because he sees like hyperhidrosis and he sweats through all his clothes. He looks like he smells like liverwurst all the time. He brings a lot of extra shirts wherever he goes. Like, Dave, why do you have all those shirts in your front seat? Yeah, why do you always bring a backpack everywhere you go? I just don't worry about it. So this day for him, finished both Bionic Commando and Strider in one day. Must have been a great day right there. Look at his blue shirt. <laughs> Sexual predator in the front, party in the back. I'm sorry, Dave. He's so Ian's creepy very looking. Funny. He's so creepy looking. I wonder if Dane is still alive uh, dane let's look him he up. owns a junkyard where some woman's body disappeared amongst <laughs> other cars dane emerson dane founder of, founder of berkson technologies it's probably him if that's him if it is share your screen if you find a picture of good old dane here's the one from encinitas california let's see where this is <laughs> and a commando why would you let your hair do that? Oh, I see some little. Here's a little kid named Dane Emerson. That's not him. Oh. Oh, aircraft. Man. I love everyone's hobby is always computers, and flying or aircraft. Yeah. Well, That's my hobbies same. include aircraft. Oh, no. What does that mean? I like to fly uh, airplanes. <laughs> oh, this guy rules. I mean, it's just yeah. it's unfortunate. I mean, I wish should have saved him for last. No, I, 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 I could. We already saw him. I had to go. Unfortunate, That's... and also like, does the photographer doesn't fix his his swooping <laughs> rat tail in the back? Love that Joker. <laughs> <laughs> He's really into candles, PJ. All right, so yeah, from yeah, Dave Emerson, we go to Rich. <laughs> oh, he looks like my friend Brian. Hey, me? Not yet. Well, he oh. actually does. If you told me that was your brother, I'd believe it. Look, we got Rich Richardson and Dane Damerson. What are these? Rich- <laughs> Rich Richardson. Oh, shit. His hobbies include motorcycles, hard rock, tapes, and CDs. He was one of the first guys. He's like, yeah, I'm into these new things called CDs. Yo, Brian, what's your favorite hobby? Tapes. Uh, <laughs> Wait, you scotch, mean this- Scotch, 
duct <laughs> masking. <laughs> Brian, what's Brian? What's your favorite hobby? CDs. Oh, you mean like listening to music? No, no, no. Just CDs. My <laughs> hobby is my hobby is CDs. That's like Charlie and oh, it's always sunny when he says magnets is his hobby. <laughs> Sure, like, what, like, what do you mean? Collecting those? No, just, just magnets. Magnets. <laughs> milk steak. CDs. Milk steak. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Hudson Adventure Island and St. Vivian Super Mario 3. Look at his widow's peak. He looks like Dracula's half son. <laughs> what would his backwards name be if it was Dracula? <laughs> <laughs> Alucard. Her. Because it's oh, backwards. Her. Her. Advent- Hudson's Adventure Island is not a hard game. He's the first one to finish that. Well, probably because no one else wants to play it. <laughs> this guy looks like he graduated high school and became a lunch lady <laughs> the next day. He looks like a guy that you tell a kid puked in the boys' room, and he goes, I guess, oh, okay. Like, that's what it looks like. He looks like he's on a date the lunch lady the next day. Look at his baby <laughs> blues. Him and Dane look like they were made in a lab. <laughs> hard Rock Cafe threw it through. I like Hard Rock. Like who? Cinderella. Sticks. <laughs> You know, hard rock. Uh, he looks like he's sitting on something he's not supposed to be sitting on. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> take the picture quick. Say, yeah. this, is, uh, this is how I smile. Uh, he's he's got to grab his nuts to smile. Hurry, cheese. <laughs> hey, is it okay if I hold up some of my hobbies in this picture? <laughs> CDs? Can I hold up some of my favorite hobbies, which is CDs? Oh shit! Wait, motorcycles. He he read that letter about. He read the court case with John Sefredi. He's like, that's right, man. Fucking yeah, motor, yeah, hell yeah, man. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> motorcycles. I like to ride my hog to work. Oh, Rich Richardson. Their parents. His parents. First of all, Rich Richardson. Look at this fucking. Cr- <laughs> 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 His he name is, kidding. but this dude's name is Dick Richardson. Like I know, Dick, Dick, Dick Dickerson. You know they call him Dick. You know he's like, hey, Dick, come here. It's a pretty big mustache. His, Ian goes, I think his mustache alone technically classifies him as a predator. It's too long, isn't it? It yeah, gets a little too long. How old do you think Rich is? I bet Rich is twenty-two. I was gonna say forty-eight, but he might uh, be twenty-two. Nah, he's he's a nineties twenty-two, just like Dane is two hundred and fifty. <laughs> Yes, in goblin years, <laughs> right? The sh- the chat that I found keeps me alive. Someone goes against, "Hey, Dane, how old are you?" And he goes, "The dead don't age. <laughs> <laughs> the dead cannot age." Oh my god, Rich broke ass Richie Rich. Motorcycles. Oh, He's got a wallet chain and bad and a bad spine because his wallet's too thick and he sits on it. <laughs> I wonder if when if like if you would call if you're a big fan of the magazine and you call. Sure. Go on. And you're, and you're like, Nintendo Power, this is Rich Richardson. Can I help you? Would you like flick through all your issues to try to find oh, who, hell yeah. who you're talking to? You know he knows. Uh, this is Rich Richardson from uh, issue 13, uh, page 10. Page <laughs> yeah. uh. <laughs> and wrote, Rich is both 18 and 53 paradoxically and simultaneously like Schrodinger's cats. <laughs> <laughs> PJ's crying. Two fifty-two goblin years. <laughs> it's true though. <laughs> Are we still on this page? Okay. Oh man. Can I you enjoy better... your hobby? See, oh, you better you better bring it, Mike Snyder. He seems. I too, mean, Mike too Snyder's plain. skull is too big for his skin. That's a really big skin. <laughs> yeah. His skull is way too big. Hey guys, do you want to go skiing this weekend? No, this is, Mike talks like this. How do I just think what we have to do is first I like to go skiing, video games, and camping. Look at his cow like uh, hair on the uh, on the side. You see that? Uh can we get that down? It never goes down. <laughs> Sorry, I have to bring a tissue because I laugh so hard. Dude, can I, I tell you one time hard. this jerk off threw I used to have long hair in high school. This oh, jerk off threw gum in my hair. And instead of like me leaving it and like going to the nurse and have them take it out, I started trying to pull it out in class and mess gooing it into my hair more. Oh my Went home, shampooed it, cried, took scissors and cut it out of my hair. And then for like a month, I had one long, thick piece of hair that would stick up like yeah, his yeah, bro. Uh, he likes skiing, video games, and camping. Finished Bionic Commando in one life. Wow, one he life loves- to Bionic Commando. Yeah. 
You guys, I mean, if you want to go camping, anybody want to go camping? I'd like to go camping. <laughs> can I light the fires? <laughs> Don't bring a sleeping bag. I have skin we can, we can <laughs> curl up in. Have you ever slept inside of a moose? <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> <laughs> he's a huge crush on the photographer trying to be chill <laughs> he definitely is thanks Brenda I'll just do my upper tooth smile he's like yeah yeah whatever and you do this, like a little oh, like, yeah yeah I mean I could smile I guess yeah, yeah skiing is really good exercise she's like okay what, what I could do I mean I, I don't know I like skiing and like I mean, video skiing. games I guess are cool but I really like camping yeah I'm more of a wilderness man <laughs> <laughs> He looks like a Starfleet cadet, PJ says. Uh, the last one. Oh, boy. Oh, the my God. The he Dean of Connor. Look at this the guy. Dean O'Connor. Oh. Bowling, electronics, and music. How is electronics your hobby? I don't understand these things. <laughs> he likes tinkering and tankering with stuff that go beep, pop, boop, boop. He walks up to, Dean walks up to Rich. He goes, Hey, Dean, you into music? And Dean, and then and Rich is like, I'm into CDs. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I like uh, high fidelity sounds. I like high fidelity <laughs> CDs. Uh, what's Dean's all this kid? The he, first, he first wanted to finish Mario 3. I don't believe that, Dean. It's, it's an easy game, technically. And you guys are supposed to be amazing at games. Someone had to beat it. Bowling. Dean is a good bowler. Look at his snaggle tooth. Yeah, I was just going to mention that. He's got a, either, either a gap or. Something. Dean's got a grape head. He looks like he drew a face on a grape and then he put it onto his body. <laughs> Can't wait for the to come up for a medical diagnosis for how he looks on <laughs> a grape head. <laughs> yeah, grape head is like a good one. Into electronics. I just don't get in music. Like I just it just what do you, you know, mean, like, they, they had very little room for the There's put nothing to do in the 90s. There was nothing to do that your hobby was music. Like, I like music. Likes listening to it, you know? I don't I can't even tell you. I don't even know what my hobby is, Brian. I, I mean, it's video games is my hobby. <clears throat> Podcasting, because I'll never make money at it. Like, that's <laughs> my two hobbies. Yeah. It's just crazy. Like, what considers a hobby? Electronics. <laughs> you know, um, I have one more thing to add to the. <laughs> I just finished eating a squirrel I found outside. <laughs> Are we still oh, chatting with perfectly the... delicious squirrel dead in the parking lot? <laughs> Does anyone here want to be an accomplice? Anyone? <laughs> anyone? No. <laughs> We can. <laughs> yeah, he does. He do, he's got on. He goes. We can rebuild him. We have the technology. We can make his head longer and awfuler. He's, he's got an unfortunate <laughs> head. Dude. He is on. He looks like he's ten. Yeah. Like he in looks, the '90s, you were looked, you were 54 and you were actually 20, or you were like 19 and you looked like you were six. Oh, did somebody say 10? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> You went to Hard Rock. He looks just like he looks like Warwick Davis, straight up on. It's just like him, man. That's sad. Look at that. Look at that. His he bought nope. his mom's his mom's sweater for the picture day too. Oh, mom, okay. do you have anything in baby blue I could wear? Mom, I I mean your Grand Empress Witch Haven. Do you? Can I borrow your cardigan? Oh, man. <laughs> So good. Oh. <laughs> Dean just oh, oh, oh. whenever he's hanging out, Dean is Dean's always like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dean looks at the left side and goes, ha 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 ha. Yeah. Go I left again. Go left to Lurch's son. Ha ha ha. He laughs like Herman Munster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be and I like Tetris because my head is also a straight line Tetralino. Uh, he likes bowling because he can drink the last sip of beers on the table. That was the best part. That was the best part of being a young kid was you could just steal bowling slips. <laughs> here you here, lady. Let's go bowling. Oh, these guys are great. Why are more? How come we don't have a thousand people watching this? Just our friends. <laughs> no one knows about it. Did you tweet it, TJ? Jesus. I might file up my phone in the living quarters. Hope, hope the dog ate it. <laughs> what? Hope the dog I hope not. Home. 
What a what what this might be a uh, this might be yeah. the best counselor's corner we ever had. Usually there's like you know, definitely one, two if we're lucky. But, they, but these two, Richard and Dane, are just like I mean, both, we, got, tens. we got we got a four tens. banger for this one. We really do, actually. Yeah, like hobby aircraft, hobby CDs, <laughs> goblins and ghouls, ghouls and Connors. <laughs> <sighs> Thank, thank you, Ian. He's getting a oh, thousand people you. worth of it. Yeah, Ian's just uh, screaming in his house, laughing. It's it, it's hard to move on from here. It really <laughs> is. I feel like we should <laughs> save it for last, or just do that. We have a ten minute show. That's fine. Uh, I mean, that's what we can. I mean, we've talked about it. We can just <laughs> oh, cut yeah. the council corner out, and make a little tick ticky talks. Oh, 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 wait. Here's our other favorite part, though. Oh, new oh, game. the new games. Oh, yeah. The drawings for this one, people. If you go, last week was the most batshit crazy thing I've ever seen. It was a mom wearing a mom shirt. For some reason, oh, the Marshy one was great. It made no sense, and this these always make no sense. These drawings. I wonder if they're supposed Let's to be see. like uh, like puzzle things or something. Okay, so here's this. Uh, here's Captain. Uh, what's his name? Captain Nintendo in the NES, the SS NES. What's that? That frozen uh, f- the fish sticks thing. Gordon's uh, fisherman. It's, it's something. Uh, Gordon's he's... fisherman. I just said it. Yeah, is that it? there's something else. Okay, it could be. Yeah, I believe. Oh, no, Gordon. There's well, there's Long John Silver's. There's a frozen one you can buy like in the store. Yeah, Maybe Gordon's somewhere. fisherman. Okay. So these, these. Uh, okay, so here's the thing that's funny. So last week they couldn't even get the rights to the Nintendo controller because they drew a weird controller. It wasn't even a Nintendo controller. These fish are I'm playing, playing iPods. <laughs> a game. Yeah, it looks like an iPod or an iPod. Um, and first of all, it said earlier, don't put your Game Boy in, in, in sun for too long. And here they are, two fish playing it underwater. I mean, this makes you think as a child, you could probably go in the bathtub and play your Game Boy in the bathtub. Uh, this game doesn't exist, this giant green You never shark. played Green Shark? <laughs> green right. Shark, green, 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 shark. Doesn't this octopus look like Frankenberry a little bit? <laughs> it does. Right? That part of a battle is witnessed. Lucille, there's no controller. The fish is just playing with just a blank. Yeah, what paddle. is it? what is it upside down? What's he playing with? It probably is. Listen, can I tell you how smart fish are? They're not. They're not that smart. They don't know. They're dumb as shit. The octopus should be playing the Nintendo because the octopus is actually funny. Yeah. It's TJ's <laughs> cuckoo for Gordon's uh, Gortons. But this picture again, it makes there's no there's no fish game coming out. There's no water game coming out. There's no shark game coming out. There's no boat game coming out. They I just feel put like, they put the most random fucking picture. Well, I feel like what it is, I feel like there's a bowl of random stuff, and then the art department they go, okay, we got to do a new games available. So I start pulling out of the fishbowl. It's like it, all right, maybe we'll like summer. It doesn't even really make sense. Summer fun. The last one was spring, and she was cooking a turkey. The, the dad was cooking oh, a turkey. Remember that didn't make sense. Turkey. Remember her mom cake, dear mom. Mom, it was dear so mom. Funny. It just said dear mom. Captain Skyhawk. Do, 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 do. All right, but I love these type of, these weird drawings. Um, so, what little, do we league got? Baseball. little league baseball, cool spot from cool. seven from seven up. From the seven most up. the most uh, shocking mascot to get his own game of the time. Like who I mean, who knew this would this would take off? Crazy. <laughs> oh wait, this is actually this is just regular spot. This isn't well, like who, the Othello just, one. What? Oh, this is like this is like Othello. Oh, but there was a platform. There was a platformer called yes, Cool Spot. The Sega Genesis, I think they had the ca- the thing. Wait, go on. Let me let me read the description. If you watch television, you're probably familiar with the Spot, that mischievous prankster from the Seven Up commercials. In the ads, the Spot could pop up almost anywhere. So it was a matter of time. Oh, yeah, it was a matter of time before it was a Nintendo game, of course. A new licensee. Ugh. Board game style strategy challenge featuring a Spot. Yeah, so this this tricked kids because it was a it was not a fun game. No, this one. Humorous. The, the, platformer, the platformer was cool. That the size was, was fine. There's also oh, humorous uh, animations. It said, yeah, "What is this? Dragon that. Spirit? Dragon Spirit? Dragon the new, Spirit? The new legend. It looks like a shmup. Dungeon Magic. Very generic name for an RPG. Dungeon Magic. Welcome to Jun Dungeon Magic, everyone. What do we got down here? What do we got down here? Oh, <clears throat> it won't be easy defeating Darces." Horses. It's like David Bowie on the right, doesn't it? Oh, it is. All right. Done Interesting. High scores. Hey. I wish I would. I wonder if I ever sent one of these in. I don't think I did, but I wonder if I did. I just, you know, got on the issue. I, did I suck at video games now, and I suck then. 
I I definitely read these and like tried to compare my scores, but I don't think I ever sent sure. it in. I can I tell you, dude? I think my mom's, I, I never. My mom's like, we have no stamps. My mom would say. <laughs> Sorry, what? I never gave a shit about high score. It's something that I never ever cared about. Yeah. Um, Ooh. The next one, which I have right here, folks. By the way, the Nintendo, the Ninja Gaiden Two strategy guy. Doc, Sword of Chaos. We won't be reviewing that issue because it's just literally a straight up strategy guy. No, there's no, there's no point. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing. There might be some funny stuff, but uh, maybe we could do one episode if you want to. Yeah, we could, uh, we could, we could go through them all and look at the fun stuff. I like this Disney game, The Adventures of the Magic Kingdom. I'm sure you and Ian did as well. Oh, Ian mm-hmm. loves the Magic Kingdom. Seven up, do 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 do. Seven up, do 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 do. They should make a fighting game with '90s masks. Avoid the Noid verse. <laughs> You've always said this, PJ. Make it. Make the game. Charlie's yeah, universe. Make- Where's the Charlie beef? Lady? Luna. Where's the beef? Would be fun. Where's the beef? Where's the beef? She just throws beef. But this Disney game was cool. I actually like my cousin. We played it all the time. Five of the one? parks attractions. So you just go on the attractions? Yeah, the haunted mansion, Space Mountain. Um, the, Do you uh, like Disney World? Uh, you're fine, fine with it it's fine uh, you know because of ian i really really enjoy it yeah, you guys had your really first, love it you guys had your first makeout session there we did ian brought me to i never went to disney as a kid ian Look, brought the, me when i was an adult and it oh, was that's kind of weird right. autopia space mountain pirates of the caribbean haunted mansion and big thunder mountain railroad yeah and I then, was, disney, if i go to california i might go to disneyland i've never been there no go to universal go to mario oh crap oh maybe Oh, yeah. I want to. We we need to go to Mario World together. I think. Yeah, that would be fun. That'd be so fun. World GP racing. Whatever. A lot of, lot of games coming out, folks. A lot of games. Love to see these games, folks. Something for everybody, kids. Heavy shred. A lot more. Dictionary. Battle Chester Party. Last Starfighter. Great movie. Terrible game. Yeah, it was a, it was a terrible game. Yeah. The Last uh, Starfighter. Whoa, behind the scenes at Lucasfilm, which is a bunch of people. Boo. Um, Skywalker <clears throat> Ranch. So it oh, talks about, this. yeah, look at that. Making... Can I be honest? Look at those heroes. Yeah. I loved Lucasfilm games so much. The point Indiana clicks. Jones. The point and clicks were amazing. Wow. Point and clicks were so good. Yeah. Full throttle was another full point and click. Yeah. I had the rematch. I never beat it, but it's a fun game, too. It's very fun. Ivan Iron Man Zero. Stewart. Look, two racing guys. Wow. Or three, four. My goodness. Whoa, Michael Andretti. All right. Son of Mario. Last week was uh, Willie Ames from uh, Charles in Charge, remember? Char- oh, it's awful. Ooh, what's this? Nintendo World Championships. Nintendo World Championships? Look yep. at these heroes. Look at these. Look at these. Look, look at he's it. got his jean jacket tied around his neck waist. Look at that Batman shirt. It's pretty cool. No. Uh, these are they're, they're they're the finalists. Wow, look at these finalists! Thousands of players. Oh my god, how creepy! Oh that. my god, the game counselors answered questions. Wait, wait, Ben! Oh my god, wait, hold on! Shit, this is the guy that you said uh, you gotta you gotta finish your skin. Remember <laughs> that made me lose my mind laughing. Oh, yeah. This is look, him. Look at his coat. Look, he's just uh, he's, he's just devouring uh, those children with his eyes. <laughs> Because I have a friend, Ben Smith, and I sent him the, the screenshot of how creepy that guy looked. This oh is fucking God. him. He's like, uh, so uh, <laughs> you girls in your teens yet? Do you kids want me to suck you an autograph? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's Ben Smith. Look, he's standing like he has to shit. <laughs> this is so awkward. Oh. That's, I can't believe that's so they had so they these these guys were like celebrities back then. They were at the Nintendo World Channel walking around. People because in the very first okay, I'm gonna back to it in a minute, but actually I'll go back to that page 96. I'll, I'll, I'll remember. So look, hold on. I want to go back to where are you going? I'll go back to the beginning. Hold on. Because look, look right here. I was at the world championship. I got I saw Ben Smith there. I got oh. Howard Phillips autograph. Is oh that crazy? God. It is crazy. Why would you ever want Howard Phillips autograph? No, Ben. Who cares about Ben Smith? It is funny. Like I love Ben Smith. Always gives me the best advice to beat uh, Super Mario World. Yeah, ben I wonder, Smith. I wonder if he was like a huge dick. Like, come on, girl. I ain't got. I don't. I ain't got time for this shit. You want to? You yeah. want to go in the back room or what? <laughs> <laughs> 
Ben Smith, are you gonna finish your skin? Yeah, that's the you. The, that's the funniest thing you ever said in your life. <laughs> you gonna finish your skin? <laughs> oh man, game counts answer questions in the super stage show. Look at these jackets. They walked around like fucking gods. Oh, golden, yes. Silver, they were gods back then. Silver shiny jackets. Ben Smith, shiny jackets in light. What else, what else is he saying here? Game counselors delight. <laughs> <Whoop>. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> your parents around no okay <laughs> how'd you get how'd you guys how'd you kids get here <laughs> you need a ride later i got a trans am i make 325 an hour doing this job you can trust me my name is my name is steven sharippa <laughs> well i thought your name was ben smith and i tell your mom it's steven <laughs> <laughs> Tell Steve your mom it's Richard, it's Rich Richardson that fuck. Yeah, that's my name is. Tell your parents you're going with Rich Richardson and Steve Cobbler <laughs> on a trip. But you're Ben Smith, no, I, My name's not Ben Smith. He's <laughs> trying to get him to cover it up. Oh man, so good. Look at this world. I know, right? Can you imagine how many white power signs are here, kids? <laughs> <laughs> One, two, five, four. Yo, look at his mustache in the top left corner. Yeah, look at this kid. He's the same age as them all. Oh, I know he is, yeah. He just got his mustache three years earlier. Because <laughs> oh, he ate too many chicken nuggets with Homer. This kid though. is probably so upset he was looking the other way on the right. Even the one kid who's covered. I know. <laughs> yeah, oh, poor kid. <laughs> I swear that's me. It's not you, Bill. You f Shut up, man. Piece of garbage. Oh, man. Yeah, poor kid. That was his, that was his, his, his blow up Mario. One chance. Oh, how did they ever get TVs that big? Zoom up. Those right. TVs yeah. weighed at least 800 pounds. <laughs> like four times. Oh my God. How did they do? Can I tell you the dude that's it, to see it now? That's very impressive because TVs, yeah. were, no, I mean, they weighed a ton. They have six minutes to collect 50 coins in Mario Brothers. I could do that. Literally in 30 seconds. I could do that with one of my arms tied behind my back. I could do that with Rich Richardson whispering in my ear, sweet nothings. I could do it while Dane is nibbling at my neck trying to break skin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like name that tune, but in creepy weird. Uh, I could do that <laughs> with Rich Richardson mowing. <laughs> Gently brushing against my nose. Rad racer. To so complete the first track of Red Racer and get as many points playing Tetris as they can in the remaining time. Wow. Yeah, that was, you know, that's interesting. That's, that's so great. 1 100 hot for NY NWC. That was their number. What's NYC? New, oh, new, new Nintendo, Nintendo World Championship. 50 oh, cents a minute wow. will be added to your phone. Jesus, bill. dude. Have permission from whoever's paying the bill. Hey, yeah. Dad. Can I call a one nine hundred number? Ask your mother. You know I got laid off last month. <laughs> <laughs> your mother blocked the nine hundred numbers because I kept yeah. calling nine hundred numbers. But you know I wouldn't call those phone numbers if your mother would. I don't know. Maybe make love to me once in a while. Man, I'm just saying. What do you want I for want dinner? Hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I wash my dick every morning for no reason. <laughs> Listen, your mother's not going to be home for dinner, so anything you want that I could boil, let me know. <laughs> what if I could boil your dinner, I'll make your dinner. If not, I don't tell you, go eat cereal. The neighbor Dane dropped off a, a, a dead moose again, if you want to nibble on that with me. Stay away, oh, Ben Curtis. <laughs> so great. Whatever you do, whatever you listen to me, you stay away from Ben Curtis. Ben Smith. Ben Smith. He already ruined your brother's life. Oh, Ben Smith. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that was a generic ben, name. Ben Curtis is the Dell kid, I think. <laughs> uh, Holy this, mother this, mercy. This, this is now, have you seen these three children? They've last been seen talking to Ben Smith. <laughs> I've seen that kid on a milk carton before. Have you seen? They've been last seen going into the council's lounge with Ben Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Ben came out uh, licking what looked like <laughs> blood off his fingers. Wearing a Batman shirt. Wearing a wearing one of the victims seems to be one of the victims' Batman shirts. God, ben, if you're listening, I'm sorry. But but you get it. You get it, Ben. You get it, right, Ben? You get it, <laughs> right? You get it. 
he does look like he's about to shit and they stopped him. <laughs> yeah. What? So, what? 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 I got this burrito shooting through me like a Japanese bullet train. <laughs> I, I'm so backed up with Mountain Dew. I got to get out of here. <laughs> ah, shit. I ate too much chili. What do you kids want? <laughs> What do you want? Ah, backed up with uh, backed up with so much chili from the food cart. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up, ah, 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 okay. hurry, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, okay, what, 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 what? They gave me an unlimited pass at the food cart. I haven't stopped yet. <laughs> I think I ate seven hot dogs. <laughs> oh wait, those are churros. My bad. <laughs> I just sucked the sugar off and threw the stick out. <laughs> Dane runs by. Gobbles up, gobbles up a licked off churro. Oh, oh my oh, god! Yeah, too much. Too I have much. Jolly Ranchers melted in my pocket. These jeans are ruined. I'm not sure which pocket. If you want to try, <laughs> you, you can guess. Yeah, oh. I know Howard. I know Howard. I can get you a job one day. Oh my god! Hold on. Fans of the arcade hit should look for the sequel, Street Fighter 2010: The Final <clears> Fight. <throat> What you know in the game? world is that? You never played this? No. It's a weird platformer where you're Ken, but it's it's in the it's in the future. It's so stupid. Oh my god. Yeah. We might have played a retro bits once actually. Oh my god, that's right. The oh that's right. The cover is like it's so crazy how they're like it yeah, doesn't look like it's a Street Fighter game at not all. Not at all, but it's literally Ken Masters from Street Fighter. Wow. Which has nothing to do with Street Fighter. Nothing. You know, if you, there's an NES long play, 33 minutes. That's how fast you can beat these games. Really? That's funny. Oh, mm. my. It's crazy. Here's Ian's favorite game, Little Nemo Dream Master. Yes, Ian loves being a Dream Master. Destiny of an Emperor. Ah. Solar Jetman. Oh, sounds Jetman. Like a, it sounds watch. fun, right? Hey, kids, I'm in a video game. <laughs> what is that? It's a Dick Van Dyke, I think. Van Dyke, yeah. Uh, who went over? Here? Um, calling Dick Twacy. Calling, calling Dick, Dick Twacy. Twacy. Who flamed Wajo Wabbit? Oh, gee, yeah. Dick it looks, Twacy. It looks just like the Roger Rabbit game. Yeah, it does, yeah. Silver Surfer. Who, like, who <laughs> made Silver Surfer? He's like, why is my game a fucking piece of shit? I don't know. I was my game garbage. I'm a cosmic figure. Hardest game I've ever played in my entire life. So dumb. And it's a it's a bad game. One hit kills, severely underpowered weapons. Yeah. And isn't Silver Surfer technically one of the most powerful things ever like created? Right? Well, he defeat yeah, like Silver Surfer def I think he defeated Galactus. like he was Galactus yeah. henchman, but he's like he's a cosmic creature. Right. It's the hardest effing game. Top down, left to right, side scroll. Just so fucking hard. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, he might not be powerful. Like, they probably made way more powerful was, creatures, but I like, he, uh, he hates his life, right? But he's like, technically, one of the most powerful things I thought. Anyway, yeah, he's by serving as his herald, he's <clears throat> with the, some portion of Galactus's power yeah. cosmic. Yeah, and he's not like invincible. I mean, he's pretty strong, right. but right. I think if it wasn't for Galactus, he wouldn't have, um, he so wouldn't have are, powers. Yeah, so here they are talking about he, the, uh, Checking out the arcade games coming out. Hot news. Hot news. Oh, yeah. Sorry. The dog downstairs needs to be stomped on. What? I don't hear it. We have a dog downstairs that barks. And then when, she, when that piece of shit barks, then like Nugget starts growling and barking because I don't, I don't the dog hear downstairs it. is a piece of garbage. All right. Nothing. Okay. Next uh, gossip. G.I. Joe. I actually like the first. G.I. Joe. Game. I like the first. American game. hero. You ever play that? You can switch between like Snake Eyes and and Duke and all them. So, so, so Snake Eyes. Kickle, Listen, Kickle. the only G.I. Joe I like is the movie. When they made oh the God. live action movie with Channing Tatum. That's my G.I. Joe. Man, how Baroness. My goodness. Mm. It was the worst movie. Like yeah, the but, fact but, that they but, tried doing but, a love triangle. But Baroness Duke was Baroness, and then Baroness's son, uh, little brother was yeah. Snake Eyes, who knew Duke, and Duke but like left him for dead by accident, and then yeah. that's what created Cobra Commander. Why can't you just make it Cobra Commander? It's just like a just a dick, just a crazy dictating terrorist. Like the fact that they had to make them connected made me sick. Yeah. 
that was the only movie I, I i never walk out of movies but that was the one that oh, yeah, i was interested. regretted not walking i was like i should have left why did yeah, i watch it's that? not good so uh, bad. nintendo that's nintendo has hot projects yeah we know that's a whole magazine that's that's the point time Loops. lord Loops. milton bradley's bringing time hop in action jaunt programmed by rare jaunt collect orbs remember how orbs are just the coolest thing well you collect orbs oh, you yeah. were awesome. every game had orbs every game had like, orbs i used to like to look at this and like kind of circle which ones i want like narc was coming out fuck yeah narc, narc was uh the inspiration to mortal kombat punch out yeah you know, wait, it, yeah wait this is the first narc was their first like where they did the the what is it, the photo the digit, like, yeah digitization of like people yeah that was narc yeah yep. look at all the issues yeah good stuff Next hey, issue. Hey, and it says down here too. It's like make sure you buy your back issues. There'll be collector's items one day. It even knows like it's gonna be. Wow. Yeah. Roundup of radical readings. Go up. Do we have the winner? Final Fantasy Treasure Quest installment. This is it. The final question you need to answer. Oh, so I guess in two more. Next. Issues. Yeah. Next issue. Yes. Yeah, next so. issue is the last question, and then I guess the issue after. I'm really dragging this out. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's see what this is look before we wrap these, it up. Look at these prizes, Brian. A vacation to Orlando with a trip Dude, to the universe, finals. Like Orlando, Florida was the hot spot in the 90s for yeah. everyone to ever <clears throat> go to ever. Because this is like all slanted. Um, uh, take home one of the three guests. That's NWC cool. game cartridge featuring Mario Brothers, Red Ridge, and Tetris. Yeah, that's one that's worth like $50,000 million, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah. We'll fly you and three guests. But, you, but isn't the thing like Wait. your flight would be included, but you had to still get a hotel? Like, I think like they didn't do. Um, this is know. where they get you because you could they'll fly you, but then you don't have a. I hate uh, Howard so much. <laughs> I hate him. So, so there's a bunch of cart. Uh, Twenty five winners got this cartridge. So those those super rare and expensive those things. So I guess in the, what do you? Let me get this straight. Is it? It's a game cartridge that has the three games in yeah. it. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. But there's only I think three or something World Nintendo World Championship official cartridges. Um, my friend's boss, I think, has one of them. Look at that kid's suspenders. Spent over a hundred grand on it. I, Look I at that kid's suspenders. Yeah, Good. He's dressed like a toy. Did I do that? Oh. Yeah. But this jacket, <laughs> I think this jacket next to it is more nineties. Look at this thing. I mean, that's the most nineties things you'll ever see. It's just stain what what's it what called? Stain washed jeans or whatever they're called. Um, stone washed. Stone washed. Then the other jeans were like the overly bleached jeans that yeah, were like yeah, white. Yeah. Mario 3. Oh, go for the fun of it. Look at this stuff. Why is that kid crouching down? We don't have chairs. We spent all the budget on our, on our <laughs> on cool these giant designs. TVs. Yeah. We spent the budget on Ben Curtis having someone watch him the whole time. Ben Smith. Ben Smith. Ben Smith. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good stuff. My great goodness. stuff. What a great issue. One of our best ones, folks. It really was. We'd love <clears throat> to see it, folks. It's one of yeah. our best ones. Ooh, next issue is going to. I actually don't know what the cover. Why don't, you, why don't you don't tell us or show us? Why don't you? Why don't you uh, make make us guess? Give a little teaser, like next okay. issue. Okay, so next one is the strategy guide for the Ninja Guide. Mm -hmm. What's the one after? Give us a hint. Don't right. tell us what it is. The Give one us a after. The one after that. Uh -huh. oh, I can't find it right right now. Ugh. I gotta find it later. Oh no! Yeah. Are you sure? I mean, I have it. I just don't have it. I just don't. It's not can we just Google it? Here we go. I'll do it right now. Yeah, I did. It's not popping up for some reason. Um. Oh yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I could. I think I got it for us in two seconds. Watch this. Wow. Watch this. Oh wait. Here we go. Oh, this is better. This link. I got oh, it. Oh wait. No. Oh, no. I got it. It's about oh, a game we already talked about. Maniac Mansion. It's oh, that's the cover. Oh, it's on the cover. Yeah, it's a cool one. All right, folks, we love to see it, guys. Thank you for what an hour and a half. Thank you for the millions. An hour and a half of around. content. Yeah. Thank and, you. Uh, you can follow you Brian guys. at Laugh yeah. at Brian. Don't worry about it. Follow TJ TJ Del Reno. Follow TJ Del Reno across social media and Unlimited Lives podcast. Yeah. Bye, everybody. This has been fun. Bye, everybody. So much fun. See